from James Lynch with the score. Oh, yeah. What's up, Kevin? How's it going? Congratulations on the victory. Um, was Where does this rank in terms of favorite wins in your career? I mean, you don't get paid by the hour. Uh, yeah, you don't get paid by the hour, so you never want to do more time than you have to. Uh, favorite wins? Top three, for sure. Top three. I, I, would, I would imagine. Um, Anthony had never been finished by knockout. Was that the plan to go in there and try and finish him? Yeah, I mean, you, you always want to finish somebody. Like you said, you don't get paid for OT, so you don't even get paid by the hour. So the faster you get the job done, the better. Uh, I heard he was talking about my cardio, so he didn't get a chance to test that. I mean, um, sounds like a good night. And as far as preparation for this fight, was it a bit easier? I'm sure you're familiar with Anthony just because he was in LFA. He fought in contender series, both like you have. Um, as far as the preparation for this fight, were you pretty familiar with him? Uh, no, I mean, my coaches, you know, um, they did, they did, they did their research really well this time. I'm not that familiar with, with Fluffy. Um, I knew he beat Brandon Allen and I knew Brandon Allen beat me. So I was like, I got to kill him. Period point blank. I got to kill him. And, and last one for me, uh, you mentioned Mickey Gall. What specifically about that matchup do you like? And how do you feel like you match up against him in the, in, if that fight does come to fruition? Well, I mean, I've only lost from chokes to jujitsu guys who can grapple pretty well. Um, so I think for Mickey Gall, it's a fight that he should definitely want to pick up, you know, take that fight. And for me, I feel like it answers questions about me going against tough level jujitsu guys and them touching my neck. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a good chance for me to, to answer some questions for me and, uh, um, and, and just to beat on Mickey Gall. You know what I mean? Everybody knows Mickey Gall got in the UFC for fighting CM Punk. And come on now. I mean, that was around the same time we all wanted to get that phone call to fight CM Punk. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, it makes sense to me. Enjoy the win tonight, Kevin. Thanks again. Thank you. Uh, we'll go next to Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Thanks very much, and uh, congratulations, uh, Kevin. First of all, obviously huge performance tonight. Normally we'd say something like, you know, walk us through the performance. I don't think we need to in this case. But, uh, you know, first of all, did you know he was hurt right off that first album? Uh, honestly, Fluffy, um, like I don't I like to pull the race card, but he comes from the Hispanic bloodline, so uh, no, I did not think he was hurt from the elbow, but I did have a good feeling that we could drop him with a body shot. So um, as soon as the knee hit him in the body, he started to fold over. And I took advantage of that, full advantage of that. And when the ref pulled me off, to be honest, I wasn't done yet. I was trying to test that cardio, so I could have kept going. You know, you mentioned the cardio, and you normally uh, fight at a pretty brisk pace. I mean, you've done five fights in a year, four fights in a year. You've had a bit of a layoff here. What's that been like for you? Sucks. I mean, uh, sucks. Nobody wants to sit at home. Nobody wants to not fight. Um, I, I love to fight. I mean, I really, really love to fight. I mean, the check is awesome, but at the end of the day, fighting keeps me sane. You know what I mean? So um, I just really, really like to fight. As long as I can fight, I'm a, I'm a better person to my, my friends and my family. And uh, so, yeah, I just really, really like to fight. So not being able to fight is probably like one of the worst things in the world. You know what I mean? Uh, it keeps me on schedule. You know, fighting keeps me on schedule with life all the way around. So I love to be able to fight. So not being able to fight, I'm losing hair. You see, I got short hair this time. Uh, obviously, uh... You know, there's been a lot of talk about the empty arena, how that's going to play out. Who who did you hear in there? And, uh, you know, did the Contender Series experience help you at all? Yes, yes. That's exactly what uh, my grandpa called me and was like, this is perfect for you. This is perfect for you. You need to fight right now. You're used to this type of stuff. Nobody talking. This is good. They can hear you talk. You need to fight now. So, uh, yeah, it worked out smooth. I can finally hear my coaches. Um, it was wonderful, man. It was wonderful. I, I like it. I mean, the, yeah, the fans are great to have there but i mean if we could have a week like this every year where we just go out there and put on like violent fights with no fans there and you can hear every smack let's do it let's do it because i'm the smack man yeah you know i like i like to hear the smacks all right and last one for me i mean that was again a heck of a performance that's got to be a, a performance bonus right uh you know what depends how the rest of the night goes you know these boys be coming to fight seen some arm bars earlier but i know they don't do submission performances no more so uh Submission bonuses no more. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think the dude just finished Matt Brown as I was walking by, but that was in the second round. I got mine done in the first round. They said it was the third fastest head-to-body finish in UFC history. So, um, yeah, man, I went out there with my mama mentality, and I got it done. So, yeah, I, I, would, I would love a bonus. It'd be nice, but I, I'm trying to fight again in two weeks. So if I don't get a bonus, I'm cool with that, too, as long as I fight in two weeks. Thank you. All right, thanks, Kevin. You are good to go. 
What? That's it? Oh, we have more. Don't. Okay, but in another oh, room. Okay. <laughs>